Well, losing a loved one is one of the most difficult experiences a person will ever have to go through. And when it's a child who's grieving, that sadness, confusion, and anger can be even more intense. Now, though, a program at the IWK Health Center is helping youngsters cope with loss. We get the details in this Live at Five house call. Two years ago, 12-year-old Evan Whittle lost his mom, Kathy, to cancer. Not a day goes by that he doesn't miss her and think of her. She was funny. She would make people laugh a lot. Coping with her death was difficult. To help him understand what he was feeling, Evan enrolled in the children's bereavement group at the IWK Health Center. We would draw, we would play games, sometimes we'd play instruments. Jane Marshallden is a child life specialist at the health center. She's one of the co-facilitators of the support group. As well as the children's group, she also coordinates a program for adolescents. And the purpose of the groups is to really give children and teens the opportunity to express how they're feeling about um, loss and learn about healthy coping strategies. The groups are designed for youngsters and teens who have lost a parent, sibling, grandparent, or friend. Experts say their grief often differs from that which adults experience. To help them understand their feelings, they participate in games and crafts. The projects are meant to be fun, but also part of the healing process. One particular exercise involves building shields. So being able on one side to identify feelings or how they're feeling, what's going on with them, that they're keeping to themselves and not letting their parents or their siblings uh, know or appreciate. And then on the front of the shield, what is the image that they're giving across to their classmates or their teachers or the parents. Participants also decorate memory boxes to hold special reminders of the person they've lost. Yeah, like we tell each other about the person that we lost. And uh, we, one week we brought pictures and stuff to remind us about them. When a child has experienced a loss, it affects the entire family. That's why the IWK has mom and dad in mind, too. Uh, one thing that we do at the same time is offer a parent support group uh, that goes on when the kids are meeting that the parents also have a chance to meet, too. And so it's really important, too, for the parents to be able to understand what's going on with their kids um, and to be able to identify those grief reactions as well. Evan says he's glad he took part in the group. Although he was nervous at the beginning, he made some new friends and had a lot of fun. Most importantly, he learned he wasn't alone. Uh, it, it showed me that a lot of kids have lost close relatives. It's really important for children and teens to not feel isolated so that they're not the only ones experiencing uh, the loss of a loved one and being able to make connections with other kids. And for Evan, it was one more way to honor the memory of someone he'll never forget. And we certainly thank Evan for sharing his story. The children's and adolescent bereavement groups take place several times a year at the IWK. If you know a young person who could benefit from one of these programs, contact the Pediatric Palliative Care Service at the Health Center.